What is going on everybody? My name is Shalera. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about UFOs. That's right, we're going back and looking over a bunch of different UFO pictures, videos, reported sightings, and everything in between. I plan on making this a long series where I go over new UFO sightings that happen when they come out and enlighten you guys on some past UFO footage and evidence you guys might not have seen. So grab some popcorn, a snack, a drink, click that sub button if you guys are new, and let's get this party started. It's July 16th, 1969, the launch day of Apollo 11. An estimated 650 million people are watching Neil Armstrong's televised image during the mission. Just four days later, on July 20th at 4.17pm EST, the crew lands the ship on the moon, but everybody missed this strange object appearing right behind them. Now nah, I'm playing, I completely faked that Apollo 11 clip, so do not believe everything you guys see on the internet. But we still gotta stay skeptical because there are a lot of footage that isn't tampered with at all, and that's where it's difficult to find what's real and what is fake nowadays. There were loads of other Apollo missions that reportedly captured some stunning pictures. All of these were, of course, quote, censored or weren't supposed to be made public, but somehow it did. This is somewhat hard to believe, at least for me, but it is still interesting to take a look at, considering it might very well be real. I'm only 20 so i don't really know what the hell i'm talking about and all i can do is go based off of all these whack-ass articles and fake videos on youtube but here we are playing cod and talking about ufos ain't nothing wrong with it but here's a clip of the apollo 17 mission which was the very last manned mission to the moon and i'll just let you watch Golly. unbelievable it was pretty fast, but I'm sure you guys noticed it. I slowed this down so you guys can clearly see it. On the left hand side, there's a small dot of shadow being casted onto the moon's surface. And this dot isn't sitting still, it's moving. It moves slightly to the right, then speeds off to the left. Now, a lot of UFO freaks like to jump to the conclusions, but we gotta take some things into consideration here. You can tell this isn't an object being held up by some sort of stick or pole. It's clearly floating or flying in the air. Then you gotta think, maybe we had some sort of probe or a satellite up there just floating around. But then you go back and look how fast this thing just gets out of frame in comparison to real time there's no shot one of our probes is moving that fast close to the moon so i certify this as clear evidence of a real ufo there's probably aliens in there smoking some good ganja and playing gta okay i'm clearly joking but seriously what do you guys think of this i got the whole video linked in the description if you guys want to check it out for yourself go to 26 minutes and 14 seconds in okay so for this next clip which is a bit of an older clip and i know y'all want to see some 4k high-res ufo shiz but i gotta show you all the good the bad the other and as time goes by, we will keep getting better footage for the channel, but I found this through my guy Security Team 10, and he shows us some footage of the International Space Station in 2014. I'll let you guys watch the clip for yourself. So there's a lot going on with this clip from the International Space Station. We got a strange round object slowly getting larger and closer to the ISS, then it almost slides and spins itself to the left and quickly vanishes from space, only to appear further back in the shot. Then it looks like it flies off in the distance. Only after the UFO leaves, NASA then cuts the feed of the footage and shows off this random footage of inside the ISS. I saw a lot of people having this video convince them, but I don't know if I can actually believe this one is real. First off, you gotta look at when the UFO first comes in. It very smoothly yet slowly starts to to appear and gradually gets closer and bigger. Definitely fishy, but I'll let it slide. Then the turning of the ship just looks so bad to me, but that's not even the part that makes me think it's fake. Once the ship disappears for the first time, all it looks like to me is someone lowering the opacity to zero. Look as I use this stock UFO PNG from Google as I used at the beginning of the video to change its colors and lower the opacity, then just look how similar these two look. 
I mean, clearly whoever made this video did a really good job of blurring, shading, and lighting this object, but you can tell frame by frame my UFO and their UFO both loses its opacity at the exact same time, notch by notch, frame by frame. I mean, maybe you can say the only reason they match up is because the video file only has a certain amount of frames, meaning it would have to line up because there isn't enough frames in between to actually recognize any difference between them. But I definitely think it's more likely someone is just a good video editor than this being a legit UFO. Oh, and NASA cutting the feed after the UFO actually leaves is fully capped. They always cut the feed either right as they see it or like right before or somehow. They don't wait that long because that was an extremely long clip. That is such cap. I could just be straight up delusional here, but I don't know. What do you guys think of this clip? Is it real or is it straight cap? Let's move on to some more recent stuff, shall we? This UFO sighting occurred in Islamabad, Pakistan, which is the capital of Pakistan, and this made mainstream news as it was first posted by the US Sun and later posted by the New York Post. The original article being titled, Mysterious Bulging Triangle UFO Filmed Lurking Over City for Two Hours Leaving Alien Hunters Stunned. Both links to the articles are in the description so you guys can go ahead and check them out for yourself. This event happened on February 22nd, 2022, so this is pretty recent and it is actually really good footage. The man who was According the UFO stated, and I quote, I filmed it for over 12 minutes at different times, took dozens of pictures, and observed it for the best part of two hours. He also said, to the naked eye, it seemed like a black round rock, but as I zoomed in, I could see it was roughly the shape of a triangle with a clear bulge on top towards the back. If you want to watch the 13 minute version of the raw video, I got a link in the description, but I'll play you a segment of the video right now. See, everything is clear, nothing, 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 and boom, there, there you go. There it is. Still, it's not moving. It's, it's just my camera that's moving, my hand that is moving. I'm gonna try to be still. As still as I can possibly be. They are the birds, they are the birds are, so that's definitely not a bird. That was a, that was, that was a fly or something, let me zoom in, let me see. zoom in, let me see, there we go. Once again, if you guys want to watch the full 13 minute video, the link will be in the description. During the recording, the man mentions he was recording with an iPhone, so that's why the quality looks how it is, but it definitely is good enough to make sense what's going on in the video. The UFO never really does any crazy movements or lighting effects. The whole time it just kind of floated there and kind of drifted around, almost like it was surveilling the city. And honestly, I would be pretty impressed if I found out that this video was fake because the quality is almost bad enough that makes it look real, if that makes any sense. The only reason the quality is somewhat still kind of bad is because the iPhone iPhone can't zoom in far enough, but for what the homie had, he got some real solid footage, so shout out to the homie in Islamabad, Pakistan. But I want to know what you guys think this is. Could this be a balloon, a seriously dope drone, maybe the baby on his jet? Let's go! Or is it Paul from Paul? If you're still watching and you haven't liked the video or subscribed, make sure to do both and leave a comment, that way we help out the channel grow. We gotta make it big time out here, okay? Run up the comment section, say. Now, I don't know if you guys have noticed anything, but there's been some serious issues with the components and simulation recently. The new updates have been breaking down, causing real-time glitches like this. Okay, so to close out this video, we are going back to 2014. It's another International Space Station UFO from one of NASA's live streams. It's reported that this live stream was a new live stream NASA set up called the Earth Stream. It would just stream the Earth throughout the day, and the clip at the beginning of the video was also a similar stream, just like this one at the time. It is also said that after the clip at the beginning of the video, NASA put a notice on their site to stop all live streams permanently, but it wasn't until a little bit later from higher ups at NASA to bring back the live streams. This is of course because if they kept the streams off, it would only help prove the people who captured and recorded these UFOs from the streams correct. Proving UFOs and aliens really do exist. So let me show you this clip which was recorded on June 8th, 2014 in the early morning. Take a look. 
and just like that the clip is over as we zoom in and look at this thing you can tell this might be one of the strangest looking ufos you've seen it literally looks like a giant transmission tower this video also has the ufo just fading in seemingly from nowhere i don't think i can buy into this one either just because of the fact that it looks so fake it just looks like someone lowering and raising the opacity on the objects to fade in and out and of course nasa shuts off the feed but hey maybe i'm delusional and i'm completely wrong here but let me know what you guys think drop some of your thoughts in the comments and make sure you guys like the video if you enjoyed and sub if you haven't already your support on every video goes a long way more footage is on its way soon and as always it's michelaire and i'm out peace